one of the interesting things about the members of the, for want of a better word, the KQED film unit, is that we were all um, highly motivated, um, opinionated, arrogant individuals. And this would result at times in, in conflict, but never in the process of filming. Nobody, they, they, you know, Phil would never imagine turning around and saying, well, this is not worth filming, why are we doing it? We, we did follow the pretty much traditional categories of director, cameraman, and whatnot. On the other hand, I had enormous trust in what Phil or Irving were shooting. And from my perspective, that's, after all, all you had left to make a film with, their images. So I had great respect for them. And they, fortunately for me, had considerable respect for me because if for no other reason than I raised the money to make the film possible. I don't know, just put it in those terms. Um, I think also they had a certain appreciation of my ability to make, to make a, a, a finished product out of uh, endless hours of, of fascinating footage. Uh, the, uh, Everybody contributed something different. I mean, Saul brought a different point of view, and he came in more as a as an idea person and as a direct and, and as a producer than as a director. Uh, and and that's the way he functioned. He since, as I said earlier, gone on to make many of his own films. Um, but Ralph Gleason once, <laughs> Ralph Gleason was the the um, the. Um, music or well, popular music and you know popular culture critic a considerable note for the San Francisco Chronicle and he founded Rolling Stone and a few other minor things along the way. Uh, we did a film together called Anatomy of a Hit which was actually three films on a uh, an artist named Vince Guaraldi who's, who was once a pianist for Woody Herman. He's probably better known today because he did the Peanuts theme uh, for the uh, Lee Mendelssohn films. And, uh, but we filmed him when he had just written his first hit tune, which was called Cast Your Fate to the Wind. Now, it was the habit of our film crew, after filming for every day, we would get together for a drink or so, or more than one. Uh, and uh, this would result in arguments. Uh, Phil Green would, you know, launch forth in the diatribe against everything we had shot during the day. It was missing the whole point. We weren't getting anywhere near close to the what the real story. And then Irving would have a different story. And at one point, Ralph Gleason said, "Do these people work for you?" And in a formal bureaucratic sense, yes, they did. And I said, "Well, more or less." <laughs> and he said, "Why don't you fire them?" And I said, "But there would be no film without these people." We worked together, and so it, it may appear to be chaotic. Uh, it was uh, more alcoholic than chaotic in some ways, but it was also the result of different sensibilities and different ways of, of looking at film form.